And we have moved into the FM 101.9 Music Hall at KSCA Glendale, Los Angeles, FM 101.9. And sitting, uh, standing across from me is a new, young, talented singer-songwriter from San Diego. She's making a lot of noise with her first hit record. Leah Andrioni is here. Hi, Nicole. Hi. How thanks for doing? coming in today. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm glad you were able to, to make it in. Leah's going to be appearing tonight at 8 o'clock. You can actually see her for free. It's the Virgin Megastore on Sunset. Right. And you're going to do a, an extended set there. Not yeah, just right. Not just two songs. Right. I'm going to go go for it all the way. All right. Well, you got to go out oh, and, yeah. and see Leah live because, uh, well, because I think you'll enjoy what you see. The debut album is called Veiled. And as I said before, the first single is getting lots of airplay all over the country. Thank you. Well, thank <laughs> you. It's a great record. You want to just kick into that yeah, and then we'll sure. chat afterwards? It's called It's All Right, It's Okay. Leah Andrioni in the FM 101.9 Music Hall. She says that life's a waste It doesn't have to be that way Dad threw away her mom Her mom gave up his name Crucified by their words Nailed by shame She stares into the sun Self-inflicted pain She sees that they're blind Why does she take all the blame? The rhyme has changed Compulsion rules strange ways seven deadly sins sees the hour sees the day her ideas need expression her wounds never bleed her beauty lives in my eyes too bad she can't see she doesn't try i watch her spirits die but giving up the ghost would feel so good a boy with wings last is a cure she knows forbidden things
Leah Andrioni in the music hall at FM 101.9. That's great. Oh, thank you. You have a wonderful story. And I, I've told it on the air a couple of times just because it's, it's a great story to tell, but I, I want you to tell it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the diner story. The diner story. <laughs> Okay, I um, had moved up from San Diego, and I got a job working part-time at a diner, Danny's Hollywood Diner, actually. Um, and I was singing at night and doing my thing at night, but I had to support myself. I waited on a table of people from RCA Records. Did you know they were with RCA Records? I did not know it was RCA, but I knew it was a record company. Okay, because you were hearing I could tell their by conversation. Their suits. Oh. No. <laughs> No, I could Tacky, just... huh? <laughs> Tacky suits. No, I heard the conversation. So anyways, um, I asked the owner of the restaurant if I could run home, get my demo tape, and come back. As he was leaving, I gave him the tape. Um, his name's Skip Miller. I gave Skip the tape, and um, he came back the next morning, asked where he could see me perform, and he came to a show that night. And offered me the deal at the end of the night. Oh my God, I'm getting chills. <laughs> me I too. see. I mean, and I know the story. I've heard it before, but wow. Yeah. That's like Unreal. a Cinderella story. Yeah. Well, up till then, it wasn't quite Cinderella, <laughs> but as uh, those few days were heaven. What was it up till then? How long had you been living in LA? I had been living in LA for about three years before that, probably. And, and the smoky bars, singing at night, and working in restaurants, and you know humbling myself which is a good thing but it's tough at the same time were you always writing songs as a kid and singing and I was singing through my whole life and I started writing around 12 years old my, my parents gave me a little diary when I was really young and you know got me started on my way so did you know you wanted to do this yes this was your goal well it was just where I was comfortable and it was where I felt like me and I knew it was something that I did that made me happy and that made other people happy. And, um, you know, I think we all, you know, need that one thing that makes us feel good. And when you find it, you go after it. And I went after it. Great. So <coughs> RCA then signs you to this deal and they, they put you in a studio and just let you work on songs? Yeah. They um, gave me some, a little list of producers' names and I met with them. And um, I met with Rick Nair who's my producer, and we just wrote, and it was a very natural, organic thing. They just kind of let me take my time, and it was great. So what do your parents think now? <laughs> they're scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're very happy. <laughs> they call me daily to hear the, the new update of what's going on, and they're excited. So what have, have you been touring and hitting the road and just doing promotional things? Yeah, I've been, I did a, like a three, four month promo thing and work doing shows and I go back out on the road um, at the end of November with the band and um, I have just been touring with a guitarist but the band comes in. And your so. guitarist is? This is John Lowry. John Lowry, very tattooed <laughs> very, with, with lovely blue fingernails. Oh yes. Very nice. My toes. Really? <laughs> Are they the same color blue? Oh, uh, all right. Well, maybe you'll show everyone tonight at the Virgin Mega Store, eight o'clock. So that'll be just you and John. Yes, just and, John. and then maybe you'll come back and do a full-on show with the whole band. Soon? Definitely, yeah, very soon. Okay, well, we'll let. I I, I know, know I'm doing it. I just don't know the date. That is so bad. Okay, it's well, at the you Troubadour. Uh, oh, I don't cool. know. But well, you let me know, and we'll, okay. we'll pass it along. Thank Leah you. Andrioni is with us here in the music hall. Are you going to do another song? I would love to. Thanks. Whispering, you stare, wanting you. Someone save me, oh. hypnotize me, unless the 
baptize the pain You speak my name I hear nothing You share your dreams I see nothing Unconscious suicide Aren't you Walk in the park, fresh air I shoot my drink, you're still here Inside a child, that's why Who used to bring me here? Oh, I'm dizzy to forget Yes, I do need to feel love And I use like a glove But the memories got flooding back All I want to do is paint it, paint it for love What a beautifully sad song. <laughs> well, thank you, and I'm sorry. No, no, it's wonderful. I love Thanks. that song. The, the album is filled with songs like that, uh, of all different moods, but the um, album is called Veiled. That's Leah Andreoni with us in the FM 101.9 Music Hall. Love that one, uh, and I'm going to recommend another song that hopefully you'll do tonight, but maybe people will pick it up because it's the last song on the album. It's called Imagining You. And I'll do it tonight, I'll definitely. Okay. Oh. Leah Andreoni, tonight at the Virgin Megastore on Sunset, 8 o'clock. Yeah. And thanks for coming oh, in thank here. thank you, Nicole. This is very cool. And uh, we look forward to when you come back, too, with the full band. Definitely. Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming in. LA's Finest Rock is FM 101.9.